Hi, so my name is Randy Van Wy, and I'm a junior here at New Mexico Tech, and I'd just like to tell you a little bit about how the challenge affected my career in computer science. Um, so I decided to do the supercomputing challenge my senior year in high school. I had a group of friends that had participated in the challenge the year before and became finalists, so I was interested in getting involved, and I wanted to know a lot more about coding. So I joined the team, and we decided to do a nice physics problem, and I think we did all right. We didn't make finalists, but um, I, I felt like the experience was a lot better. Um, I ended up helping write a bit of C++ code, and I had done some C++ before, but this the project really got me comfortable with using C++ and you know working with the code itself. Um, we did some graphics programming, which was completely new to me, and it was really really difficult, but uh, we got some results. In the end, I ended up getting a scholarship for my efforts in the challenge, and I started going to New Mexico Tech to study computer science. Um, doing the challenge really helped me get a feel for what was out there. I really, really liked reading all the other students' projects and getting a feel for what computer science had to offer. It really got me interested in doing some problems involved in computer science. Um, nowadays, I'm more interested in theoretical computer science than applied computer science, but I feel like the supercomputing challenge really, really broke that barrier for me. Um, nowadays, I am studying a whole bunch of other programming languages. I'm in a programming language club. Um, it just really, really, really taught me how to think about programming and how to start programming and how to you can apply it to your problems at hand, and I think it was a great experience. Uh, it has led to a really, really nice career here at Tech, and I hope to help with the supercomputing challenge in the future, and I hope it stays going strong.